happening at this time. Uh, the father, the creator, the owner, and the star maker, the man that created hardcore hell, Mr. Wildside, Steve Martin. With chair in hand, Mr. Wildside himself makes his way to a somewhat reluctant crowd here at Hardcore Hell 2001. Mr. Wildside's in the ring. You know, man, I've never seen so many losers in one building in all my life, and that goes for you too, Dan. You know, I brought out the BLC chair that I took like a man, Dad. I took this chair. There was nothing Scotty Wren or JC Daz was going to do about it. You know why? Because I am the owner, the star maker, the man, Mr. Wildside, Steve Martin. But you know, I've been thinking, Dan. I've been doing a lot of thinking. And tonight, right here at Hardcore Hell 2001, a tradition that I started in 1997 with Matt and Jeff Hardy, Joey Alves, Bull Buchanan, Rick Michaels, David Young, Rusty Riddle, and the uh, list goes on and on. But tonight, I want to call Scotty Wren. That's right, Scotty Wren to the ringside. Oh boy. Years now. This is a very volatile situation, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your ass on the floor. I'm gonna fire you right here in front of 300 plus fans. Scotty Wren, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking here of late. You broke Andrew Thomas's arm. You broke Jesse Taylor's leg. So that got me thinking, you know, you are truly a hitman for hire. And since I have your prize right here in my hand, and I know that makes your blood boil. But you know, Scotty, maybe you're not so bad after all. Maybe we're a little bit alike. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you're as evil as I am. Scotty Wren, maybe you're NWA elite quality after all. You know, I thought a lot about it. We need a hitman like you, Scotty Wren. But you know, on the other hand, you're never going to be a Matt or a Jeff Hardy. Sure as hell ain't never going to be a Venom. You better uh, keep your ass wait. back, because let me tell you Hold something, on a Scotty Wren. You're going to get Damn it. Oh, my God. This Scotty Wren, for the love of God. Uh, uh, this happened once before. Take him out, Jesse! Take him out! Mr. Wildside himself. Take him out, Jesse! As once Get up, again. You loser! Get up! Get up! Not in that. Oh my. Scotty Rennie just keeps coming, blinded by rage. This is uh, you said it once before. Best Jesse Mr. Taylor, Wildside, Steve Martin. Not only did and, we work the again, boys in the back, but we worked every one of you stinking idiots. Scotty Wren, I just found my new star, Jesse Taylor. Jesse, it's all good from here. Red is a bloody mess. And like I floor. told you before, Scotty Red, you don't fuck with Steve Martin. Uh, we got this is. Sometimes things don't go like they plan. In. Fans, this uh, I, I mentioned before, this is a very volatile situation. I mentioned before that Steve Martin, Mr. Wildside, 
This is frankly something Jesse, that should be taken you're the care man. of politically behind the scenes. There's no sense to make a spectacle of something like this. This uh, this is tragic. And in front of the fans here, an interesting note that Steve Martin, uh, and I'll be honest, I'm not a, not a fan of him both personally or professionally, chose Hardcore Hell 2001 to, to, to do this. Maybe make an example. Scotty Rent, a, a literal, a, a literally a, a bloody. This man God. is a, he's, a, he's a ticking time bomb. How many more obstacles can Steve Martin throw in his way?